Councilwoman Danielle McRae introduced this bill after the Rohome fire in January that killed three firefighters. She called it one in a series of similar deadly incidents related to the department's aggressive fire response. These incidents show that being known as an aggressive, aggressive interior firefighting organization is something that maybe, maybe should not be consistently applauded but reevaluate it. This bill would put rules in place for how firefighters should go into and fight fires at vacant row homes. It would also require the department be outfitted in thermal body cameras. So Chief Nels Ford, who opposes this plan, says much of these regulations are already part of their code. Others, he says, wouldn't allow for the flexibility needed when responding to fires. He also took issue with the equipment the legislation would put in place. Super black. Uh, you literally can't see your hand in front of your face. So at that point, video cameras are not effective. Thermal imaging cameras, uh, uh, we, we already have those, uh, but we can install it. In fact, that was part of the question. We, we can look at, we can look seriously at that. was part of the conversation we've even had of the effectiveness of it and, and whether or not we should do it. Chief Ford said thermal imaging cameras will only allow firefighters to detect hot spots not the condition of the actual building. According to the assistant fire chief, all firefighters are expected to canvas their neighborhoods on Saturdays to look at potential hazards in their areas. The assistant fire chief also says the department used to track vacant home injuries, but that data got erased in the 2019 ransomware attack. The department has since resumed that data collection.